This step-by-step -step installation specifically covers eave trim installation for an exposed fastener panel. Brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of colors and finishes, all while saving by buying Factory Direct. Use of the following video content is subject to the warning, disclaimer of warranties, and limitation of liability as set forth on this screen. We're going to be prepping a mini eave trim on our gable ends. Uh, first things first, we're going to take our we're using a marker for demonstration and speed square. So we're going to mark at one inch. We're going to run that mark down the face. Also across the top. We're going to be cutting that piece off and we're going to be folding this piece. All right, so the first cut down here on our hem, we're going to cut this 45 degree angle. Then we can go ahead and cut this off. Okay, and we cut this upper section off. We're going to take our small hand benders and fold this around. Okay, and now we're ready to install it. Eave trim should be overlapped to 6 inches. Using metal cutting snips, cut out the hem 1 eighth of an inch of the drip edge as shown. Next, using a screwdriver, slightly open the hem of the adjacent eave trim. At the overlap, apply caulking to the notched edge of eave. Slide the second piece into the notched section and secure it with two pancake screws. Place additional screws on each section of eave, 12 inches apart on center as shown. The final step of eave installation is to place an 8 inch strip of self-adhesive underlayment, 1 inch from the edge of the eave. Once this is done, you will have underlayment both underneath and on top of the eave. You can find step-by-step -step installation videos and homeowner guides on our channel. And don't forget to show your support by hitting the like button and subscribe. Want to learn more? Check out these videos.